When it comes to media, entertainment, and trending news, we are all you've got. Thank you very much for tuning in to the Our Media Entertainment channel. Thank you so much because you know that we are going to be giving you all the latest on entertainment and trending news on our social media spaces and major news items. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Kwesi. I'm here with Na Ajele, and we'll be bringing you very, very interesting pieces right after this break. Thank you very much for staying with us. And yes, we are coming to you with very, very interesting news items, like I mentioned. Now, now a lot of things are happening on our spaces. I'm yeah. sure you've seen a lot of them. I've seen a lot of them, and De I've read a lot. Definitely, we are going to be dissecting these particular cases to see who is right, who is wrong, what the news spaces are saying, okay. what the social media spaces are saying, and what exactly we are supposed to take home from all of these happenings. Now, the first story is that a very popular prophet in this country, Prophet Kofi Udru, popularly known as yeah, certain tagline, I should know. All right. Looks like I've forgotten this tagline because he likes bashing people. <laughs> but I don't want to remember his tagline. Remember a tagline. Well, viewers, you know, you know Prophet Kofi Odru, he's, he's a very outgoing prophet. He's very energetic, very enthusiastic. He has a very interesting uh, personality when it comes to giving out his teachings, his prophecies and all that. So he's made some very interesting comments. And his comments are that white weddings are generally a waste of time especially for people who are not getting into marriage now. Okay, for white wedding is not a waste of time to me because hmm. I like I like flashy stars. I put it that way, no one should come for me. But what I'm trying to say is, it's up to the person doing the wedding. Hmm. If the person is, is if the person would be able to afford, afford the it. white wedding, okay. I don't think it's, it's a waste of time. But just like he hmm. mentioned, I I, will, I know most people would prefer the traditional wedding. Weddings. Now they do it in a very nice way yeah. that attracts a lot. So he might not be wrong, but hmm. then for me, I love what weddings. White weddings. Yes. Okay. So Prophet was saying that he thinks it's a waste of time, waste of money. Sorry, because you know he thinks for people who are starting out on life, for you to spend so much. Feeding people who may not have contributed anything to your like wedding. You made a statement yeah. that uh, imagine setting a table for is it three hundred or yeah, two hundred and fifty yeah, yeah. people? people. Yeah. Like it's it's not an easy <laughs> job, and you're going to waste a lot of money. Of money on it. So those were his comments, and I think there have been varied opinions on social media. And you know, he said even for people who are rich, he still thinks it's a waste of time and money. Oh really? But that's yeah. my money. Prophet see it's a waste of money. Mm. <laughs> That's my money. So if I yeah. want to do a white wedding, set a table before my enemies, I mean, uh, why yeah. not? But you can't set it in traditional wedding. I why do you want to set, set another one? Even wedding. God cries, it says a table. You say tables. Yeah, I'll set tables. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, bro, it's Kofi Odlo says, when you do your traditional marriage, he thinks it's enough. You don't need to go ahead and spend extra on a white wedding, have 15 brides. But he equally made mention that if um, you've done your traditional wedding and your, your 25th anniversary, your 30th anniversary, yeah. you could do a, do a white wedding. Yeah. Don't you think it's equally a waste of time? Because of money. Why not? Mm, mm. Uh, time and money. Yeah, you know, his, his major problem is that, you see, as you are, he, he thinks that, he's, he mentioned that as you are starting life, you have a lot of challenges to deal with. Um. You're not starting life, you're not getting into business. Or you've started a business, but it's still growing. Okay. And you are, if not, if not had children yet, you've not necessarily built a home yet for most people. I work again for that money. You work again. <laughs> <laughs> So I work again for that Because one. I think I buy into his idea. It's not bad. Just yeah. why it's riding into is nice. Very flashy. Very nice. So it's, a, it's, it's in between having a very nice event and having a comfortable marriage. So people would argue that, or he was arguing that the marriage is just a one day ceremony. I mean, the wedding yeah. is just a one day ceremony. But the continuing days are like long lasting. Okay. So really, Kofi, he makes Prophet sense. Kofi, who, yeah. yeah. He makes <laughs> sense, but. You cannot tell anybody how to how spend, to spend their money. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that generally for people who do not have the means, going with Prophet's advice would be a good thing. That, you know, have your traditional wedding, make it nice. Are you going with this idea? If, so, so it's depending. If I'm extremely rich... But he said those that are extremely rich is equally yeah, a waste of yeah, money. Yeah, he says it's a waste of money. So I'm huh. asking you, are you buying so for me, this idea? If I, I'm, I was extremely rich, <laughs> oh, guys, extremely rich, they're spending a few, few, me, whether few I'm dollars, extremely rich, few I dollars on a white do, wedding. I would do a white do wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine will be will be um, based on, you know, whether where on oh. which side I'm, I'm oh, on. Okay. Whether I'm really okay. rich. If I'm really rich, oh, Charlie, why not? I'll be coming to your wedding. Uh, do a white one. Sure. 
cool. Okay. Thank you for blessing me. It means I'll be very rich. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, those are our thoughts when it comes to Prophet Kofi Odro's situation on marriage ceremonies and why you shouldn't really do a white wedding. So, yeah, you know, but he, his main point was targeted on the fact that if you don't have the means, stay with a traditional wedding and be good enough with that. Don't stress yourself to do a white wedding when you truly don't have the means. I think that's where his point was centered. But he added the fact that nobody should even bother. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's what has created a little controversy. So, well, uh, we thank Prophet for that That um, insight. would very much consider that, I think. Now, now he's considering it I mean, heavy. I'm not, considering not, considering it. Hey, I'm not even buying into his idea at hey. all. Uh, Prophet. I'm not. Prophet, me, I'm listening. You know. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> so, our second story today is the fact that, uh, you know, the government is kind of running a... Well, they don't want us to call it a load shedding. They are saying they don't have any doom sort timetable for us, but apparently the lights are going on and off. Before we, we got here to the studio today, the lights in my area were off. Oh. So I don't know whether... And you know, the, the Minister of Energy recently mentioned that he doesn't have any timetable for us. For, because to him, there's no doom sort happening. So that's a deep contrast between reality and what he's saying. But well, we did. But the main story is that there was power outage at the Tema General Hospital. Okay. And then um, it sparked a lot of conversation because it's a hospital. The hospital needs light at all times for things like so ventilators. So I trying to say that the, the hospital doesn't have a generator or well, a plant. Hmm. I mean, it's Tema General, General Hospital. hospital. Hmm. General underlined. Okay. So they do have a plant, but according to what we are getting, it means that the plant was dysfunctional. So according to them, it took their technicians about two hours to get the plant to function. Before later on, I think they general grid lights came on okay uh -huh. and within that period they said within that they, they said two hours in their in their report but some people are sending messages across you know anonymous messages that no it lasted for more than two hours then again they are mentioning that a baby actually died oh. in that period but Tema General Hospital's press release says no one was harmed, no, no one died, harmed. and everything. So right now I think uh, I saw I saw a trending video where yeah. uh, a mother is is accusing Tema or oh, should I say General Hospital no was accusing the government. I don't yeah. want to make it political, yeah. but she was accusing the government for the doom so issues, yeah. and that's why the baby died. died and yeah. all this thing. But we know this. Um, what's the name? The babies that are kept in incubate, uh, incubators. Yeah, they are they're supposed to use electricity, the oxygen, and all the yeah. things are connected to it. Yeah. So don't you think that um, General Hospital was supposed to have, like? Well, so they were supposed to plan ahead of time. Yeah. Like they should have a generator, they should have a plant. Oh, yeah. Are they trying to say that even if the gener uh, the plant was dysfunctioning, yeah. the generator couldn't have taken over? Well, well, we okay. I think we don't really have the write down specifics as to whether they had a generator and they had a separate plant. Okay. You know, I think for most facilities, a plant is usually fine, or a generator, a big generator is fine. So maybe they had just one, and that one was dysfunctional at that moment. So mm -hmm. people's arguments are that. The general hospital takes money. When you go in, consultation is not free. No. When you go in, medicines are not free. They actually get money from a lot of things. So then, what was the administration doing to make sure power is on and running at every time? Because the hospital cannot... Do, you know, if you and I lose light in our homes, the worst is that we are going to sleep in the heat and in the use evening. Candles. And use candles and all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst that will probably happen to us. But for a hospital, a lot more can happen. Okay. You know, because probably surgeries are up. Mm -hmm. Babies are up for delivery, yeah, the yeah. ventilator incubators, like you said. So it's quite a worrying situation. And, but uh, as uh, showbiz personality, yeah. I think the uh, ex former Twitter, yeah. people started tweeting hey, Twitter. on it. They're saying that the committee nine, I mean, the hospital is closer to South Korea's uh, community and oh, all those okay. things. So they're expecting him to do something about it. And I'm asking, what can he do what can about he do? it? Then someone <laughs> said that if he was able to sing about doing so in 2015, yeah. I think he should be able to, to talk about it now. Get it. Sure, sure, but sure, then sure. He, he only came out to um, say that he doesn't, like what the ECG they're doing, he doesn't buy into it. Yeah. Do you think it's it's enough for him to say for him that. To say that. Well, I think, like you said, I the mean, song you can, he did. you can give out your views without yeah, bringing. Without bringing. Yeah. Because you see, I'm thinking that, well, he, he's a personality. People look up to him through okay. his music and all that. So people expect him to talk about some of these social problems. So I think, yes, he should speak but about it. But he did speak about it. But you see, the but energy was not the same. 
I don't know why you <laughs> are trying to drag him into it. Why are you dragging him into the it? The energy is not the same. Because when you did a song for you him. You want him to loud down. Like, what would that song do? Increase, do increase the energy. The energy is important. Loud down. You should loud it. Oh. Yeah. So it's very important. So I think that's that's people's problem. Like, the energy is not the same. Mm. I think that's what people are arguing about. The fact that the energy is not and yet the same level. So now, uh, so yeah. now you are trying to tell me that I should tell Sarkoje that Sarkoje think about this dumb song going on. So please, I am telling you, think about it. Yeah, that is what Kwesi is saying. And I want you to do that for him. <laughs> well, that's, well, maybe that would help the situation. But the, the, I think at the end of the day, the situation is quite bad. Yeah. Because to have, because truly it's happening. And then me. even yesterday, they are saying there was light out in that same hospital again. It's happening. Then they it's should happening. give us a timetable. They should bring. So the, the minister says he doesn't have a timetable. He's not expecting a timetable to I come out. I the new, the new appointed or elected chairman. I said the energies are different too. Mr. Uh, Honorable Robert Kapa, please yeah. do something. He should, he should do something. Yeah. And you know, people he are also dragging something. the minister of energy because when he was in opposition, I think he was part of the leaders of a demonstration against Dumso, and he was very loud on the matter. Now that he's in power, the energy is different. He'll be again. loud on it. I, I mean, <laughs> he will. You see, yeah. so is it, people find problem with people when the energy is different. So if it's like this, it must be so. So that's what is happening to him. Yeah, so that's <laughs> but we, we want to find out: is it that you people want Takodie to just come out and sing about it? Let me know your your views and what yeah. you think. Why you people are dragging Takodie into yeah, this? Yeah, Let me yeah, know yeah, it yeah, yeah. in the comment section. Interesting, interesting one. Now, interesting next one. Update on penis theft. Ah. Hmm. This matter. <laughs> now, how do we even talk about this one? Can Just a girl know. idea. Hey, hey. It's, it's, I, it started at Kaswa, right? Kaswa. And now, uh, Tom. I want to ask our at, producer uh, that does he live at Kaswa? <laughs> producer. Do you live at Kaswa? Because. <laughs> oh, you live at Kaswa. <laughs> Is that bad, though? I beg. Protect because, it. hey. I don't know. All kinds of strange things happen in Kaswa. I don't, yeah. Nah. I don't even know me. I don't even know how it happened. But people are saying this thing happened somewhere in 1999, 2000. 1999? Yes. The same thing happened. The same thing happened it, and it is repeating itself. It's, it's repeating itself again. Ah. But it's not only Kaswa. It's some happened. I La Paz, La yeah, Sukura. Yeah, yeah. Recently, just uh, Shukura. Uh, yeah. Did I get the pronunciation right? I want to yeah. mention our producer's locality. Some tea name be like that. Hey, really? Yeah, our camera guy's personality. His, you his, you his live around there. Uh, how, 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 like how are you coping? <laughs> <laughs> how are you coping? <laughs> Why is this going we'll on? We'll say it on the show. But then you see, like, the thing is getting interesting because I got, I got a, a voice note from someone saying that it happened. I mean, the very day I spoke about yeah. this finished theft on, they watched it on my, on yes. our media. Yeah. Yes. And then he came into my DM to say that it actually happened. It, it actually happened. I wow. mean, the minute he, he finished watching that video, it happened. Like the person like, started shouting. Like right in front of him. Right in front of him, and the person started screaming. <laughs> this is what has happened. This is what has happened. Now, this might be an exclusive interview. I can't be there. You get it. Only I mean, you. oh, he must be there. Da, be da, be da, be da. I can't you hear the story. Missing. No, it's only you. You can't go alone. <laughs> but these people, what's their name? The municipality yeah they issued a press statement saying that this is just a rumor hmm. and it is not true and there is nothing like that happening yeah or nothing doctors have not proven that hmm. it has actually happened yeah so those that are saying it is missing what exactly are they doing what are they deliberately spreading are they deliberately rumors? spreading rumors or it hmm. is really happening maybe I'm just suggesting maybe they have to take a picture of it and blur their face so that we see we'll if it see is really that... missing. Maybe so, people would believe it. I, I don't with know. With evidence. Eh? With evidence. Otherwise, so we'll we just explain. We need evidence. We okay. don't want only explanation. Please <coughs> provide evidences for us so that we can we can bring it out. So <laughs> these people saying that it is just a rumor. A rumor. Yeah. yeah. So, so they, they I think they're even the... mentioning that anybody who is spreading such rumors. If you are caught, you'll be dealt with by the municipality and all that. Uh -huh. But the truth is, let's really get to the bottom of the matter. Is it happening or is not? Is it happening or not? So, you know, because according to the cases we've heard, people have reported to police stations. Yes. So if there has been a report, then it means there's a police report there which should validate the claim. Mm -hmm. So then the municipality cannot just come and say it's not happening. It's not happening. It may be happening. But we, we are not yet to tell that it's happening or not. 
it's just the facts on ground or the Please rumors provide proofs, on ground that we are it. To I'm me. still on the <laughs> proofs. You want the yeah, proof? I want to see. <laughs> interesting. So very interesting things happening in the country. Um, I think at this point we probably exhausted what we need to say for today. Thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you now for your Thank thoughts you, on the matter. You want to end for us? Also, quick, this brings us to the end of another segment on our ways entertainment. But we won't just be leaving you like that. We'll be bringing you more and more exciting episodes. But before that, we want you to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. I mean, the channel is for you and I. Please help us grow. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.